Hello everyone, welcome to InfoSec Train. My name is Amit Pandey and I'm a security and cloud trainer at InfoSec Train. In this video, we are going to discuss about some of the AWS interview questions. The first question is, what are the different instance purchase options in AWS? In AWS, we have multiple type of instance purchase option. The first one is reserve instance. In AWS, Reserve instance are purchasing options that allow the user to obtain significant cost saving on their cloud computing resources. When purchasing reserve instance, customer commit to one or three years term reserving a specific amount of compute capacity in advance. This reservation comes with a discounted hourly rate compared to the on-demand instance, which are charged at a regular pay-as-you-go rate. The reserve capacity is applied automatically to running instance that matches the attribute of the reserve instance, resulting in cost saving over time. AWS offers three types of reserve instance, standard reserve instance for steady state workload, convertible reserve instance for great flexibility to change instance attribute, and scheduled reserve instance for specific time windows. By using reserve instance strategically, AWS users can optimize their cloud infrastructure costs, making it a valuable option for business seeking to achieve long-term cost efficiency without sacrificing performance. Second type we have, which is the spot instance purchase option. In AWS, spot instance are the purchasing option that allows user to bid on unused EC2 instances typically resulting in significant reduced cost compared to the on-demand instance. Spot instance provide an opportunity for customer to take advantage of the surplus compute capacity in the AWS at a fraction of the regular price. However, it is essential to note that since the spot instances are obtained at a bidding price, the availability of the instance is not guaranteed as the instance can be interpreted with a short notice if the spot price exceeds the customer bid. Spot instances are well suited for workloads that are flexible in terms of start and stop time, such as batch processing, data analytics, testing, and simulation. AWS users can set their maximum bid price for the spot instance, and if the current spot price falls below that bid, the instances will be provisioned and run until either the user terminate them or the spot price exceed the bid. Another kind of category we have which is on-demand instance. When we talk about on-demand instance, AWS offer a flexible pay-as-you-go pricing model called on-demand instance allow users to access computing resources without any upfront commitment or long-term contract. On-demand instances are an excellent choice for business or individual with a fluctuation or unpredictable workload, providing the flexibility to scale resources up or down as needed. On-demand instances are readily available whenever needed. User can launch them on demand without any waiting period, making it ideal for situations that require immediate access to computing power. With on-demand instances, customer only pay for the computing resources they used based on hourly or per second billing rate, depending upon the instance type. There is no upfront cost or long-term commitment, making it cost-effective for long-term workload. On-demand instances offer unparalleled flexibility to adjust resources based on changing demand. User can easily scale up or down the number of instances to match their application need, ensuring optimal performance without incurring unnecessary cost. On-demand instances are well suited for short-term project development testing application with variable or unpredictable workload. User can spin up instances whenever they need them and terminate them when they are no longer required. Second question we have is, what are the critical components in AWS infrastructure? First is the region. We have 31 region currently. So in AWS, a region is a geographical area in the world where AWS has established data center to host its cloud computing services. Each AWS region is designed to isolate from other region and consists of multiple availability zones. 
Second important component is availability zone. An availability zone is a distant data center with a power, networking, and connectivity infrastructure which provide redundancy and fault tolerance with the region. The third component we have is the data center. It is the building block of the infrastructure. It is a physical location where the data is actually kept in huge servers. The third question we have, what is Elastic Beanstalk in AWS? So Elastic Beanstalk is a pass offering from AWS that simplify the development and management of application. In abstract way, the underlying infrastructures allows developer to focus on writing code rather than delay with the complexity of the infrastructure management. Developer can deploy application written in various programming language include Java, Python, .NET, Node.js, PHP, Ruby, Go, etc. Elastic Big Stock can automatically adjust the number of instances running based on the application load, ensuring optimal performance and cost efficiency. AWS regularly updates the platform to incorporate the latest software update and security patches, relieving developer of the burden of managing these updates themselves. Elastic Beanstalk also supports deploying multi-container Docker environment, making it suitable for containerized application. The fourth question we have is, what is AWS EC2? In AWS, EC2 is Elastic Compute Cloud is a fundamental and a highly versatile service provided by AWS. It empowers users to effortlessly launch and manage virtual server instances in the cloud, catering to diverse application workload and computing need. With Amazon EC2, developer can choose from various range of instances type tailored for a specific performance be it general purpose computing, memory intensive task, or high performance computing. The service offered flexible pricing model, including on-demand instance for pay-as-you-go usage, spot instance for the cost-effective access to unused capacity, and reserve instance for disconnected long-term commitment. EC2 auto-scaling capability ensured that the application can dynamically adjust their compute capacity in response to varying demand, thereby optimizing performance and cost effectiveness. Additionally, the service provides robust security feature, enabling users to place their instances within the virtual private cloud, which is also called as the VPC, and implement stringent access control, seamlessly integrated with other AWS services. AWS EC2 empowered business to build and scale their cloud-based infrastructure effortlessly while maintaining the high level of flexibility, scalability, and reliability. The fifth question we have is, what is security group in the context of AWS? In the context of AWS, a security group is a fundamental component of network security that controls inbound and outbound traffic for Amazon EC2 instance within Amazon VPC. It acts as a virtual firewall specifying the rules that regulate the flow of traffic to and from instances. Each security group can be associated with one or more EC2 instances and administrator can configure inbound rules to allow specific protocol ports IP addresses to access instances. Outbound rule can also be defined to control the traffic leaving the instances. This level of granular control enables organization to create secure environment and enforce strict access policies ensure that only authorized traffic can communicate with the EC2 instance while effectively reducing the attack surface. As a flexible and scalable security measure, security group play a pivotal role in safeguarding AWS deployment and maintaining robust network security in the cloud. So guys, this is for today. Thank you.